Tell me not here, it needs not saying what tune the enchantress plays in aftermaths of soft September or under blanching maize. For she and I were long acquainted, and I knew all her ways. On russet floors, by water's idle, the pine lets fall its cone. The cuckoo shouts all day at nothing in leafy dells alone. And traveller's joy beguiles in autumn hearts that have lost their own. On acres of the seeded grasses the changing burnish heaves, or marshalled under moons of harvest stand still all night the sheaves, or beeches strip in storms for winter and stain the wind with leaves. Possess, as I possessed a season, the countries I resign, where over elmy plains the highway would mount the hills and shine, and full of shade the pillared forest would murmur and be mine. For nature, heartless, witless nature, will neither care nor know what stranger's feet may find the meadow and trespass there and go, nor ask amid the dews of morning if they are mine or no. That poem's important to me. It's by A.E. Hausman. It's not from a Shropshire lad. It means a lot to me because it was a favourite of my great friend and mentor, the evolutionist W.D. Hamilton, sometimes called the greatest Darwinist since Darwin. He, his character reminds me of the melancholy protagonist of A Shropshire Lad, and this was one of his favourite poems. <laughs> 